As we wrap up 2022, uh, I want to say thank you very, very much to all of my viewers, to all of my subscribers. And as we roll into 2023, I would like to introduce the next project I will be working on. Um, please stick with us as we build this uh, incredible, incredible jet and get it airworthy, fly it, and just see the joys of what this hobby has to offer. So, um, This is what we have down here. They're definitely missing parts. This kit has been sitting for about five years, and so over the years moving, parts of it have been lost. But uh, what was delivered to me where I'll start here. You've got the two wings, uh, and these are the the full wing with the spoilers in the front. Servos are already mounted, so that's good, so we don't have to do that. Um, we have an extra stabulator right there. Um, I will figure out why that was provided since there are already two that are mounted. We have a uh, piece of wood. I'm not sure if that's going to go with this jet or not. Uh, some of these parts may or may not be for this jet. They were just given uh, with the jet, and I'll have to figure that out. Um, right here we have our nose cone and um, the structure in which that rests, and we can see we're already missing sort of the pitot tube that go up here. So that and then we have our air tanks right there. Um, we have our two turbines that we're going to be using. So those are KingTech 160s J2, and you can see right here we have the pump. We have the ECU, we have the clunk, we have the GSU, we have the pump to uh, ECU to battery lead, um, the data cable from the engine to the ECU, and then the power cable from the engine to the ECU for that one engine. For the second engine, we have everything except that pump ECU power cable. So we have the data cable, we have the power cable for the engine, the ECU, the pump, clunk right here and the GSU and the motor itself so we'll be tracking down that extra cable that's missing um, we have scale cockpit bits here um, and as usual when I unwrap this um, when I unwrap these uh, cockpits since they're very fragile I noticed that there was a little bit of damage so we're gonna have to fix that so you can see right here there's broken bits uh, this is kind of broken as well down there you can see the iconic bits for here just hanging in there the second set I guess is under no that's a different one so we're gonna need to figure out where all that stuff goes and this is also sort of damaged as well and I'm just gonna be going through and figuring out what's missing and we'll order that this is the other bit of the cockpit the front section I guess um, these four bits, which I do not know at this moment where they go, but I am assuming they are part of the cockpit, so we'll figure that out. We also have the pipes and the nose tail cones, and then we have an assortment of tanks. Uh, those two are now the wing, sort of uh, over, not wing, but center wing tanks for the uh, F-14. I need to figure out which of these two, if both or either one of them get into that jet. Um, we have the second uh, tail cone, the second pipe, and that's pretty much all of the stuff that we have now. So we already know that we're missing a cable for the turbine, we're missing the pitot tube, we're missing the rails for mounting those engines, we're also missing the fins that go on the bottom of the F-14, I'll show that in um, On the wings, we are also missing the threaded rod or whatever rod goes in between the servo arm and uh, the control surface attachment so that's for both wings as well the jet the nose gear is already installed the plumbing seems to be there that's the pneumatic or air plumbing you can see the cylinders and the, the airline um, I will be checking to see if that stuff needs to be replaced or not. Flap here, we have our giant swing wing mechanism. Um, you can see the gear right there is installed still, tie wrapped. You can see that yellow zip tie in there. And we have these actuators. Um, that gear is massive. The swing wing mechanism, uh, 
I believe is the newest version, so it's been updated already. Um, and then just all the ins and outs, the pneumatics, the airlines and and whatnot um, running through here. I'm gonna close that. Um, underneath the jet, you can see the location for mounting those uh, vertical fins that I think I'm missing, so those are not in the kit, as well as the tail hook. I do not see the tail hook, so we'll be tracking that down. Uh, you can see the speed brakes are in there, nice and clean, vertical stabs, rudders, servos already installed, and let's open up the stop air brake, uh, looks pretty clean, just old, there's airlines, they look like they've been pinched a little bit, so that might need to be addressed, we'll see, and we've already seen the stabulators, that are already uh, in place. So that's pretty much what came with the jet. And so just one other walk through around. There's some old equipment here, uh, which we'll not be using. Obviously, we're going to go with uh, electronic valves, which you can see a little more of that uh, swing wing mechanism and the airlines. And so, there we have it. Skymaster F14 Miss Molly. It's going to be our next build. Looking forward to it.